Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokchaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn how to use a CloudFront distribution to serve a static website hosted on S3 in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the S3 service, then click on Create Bucket and give it a name. Uncheck Block All Public Access, acknowledge the warning, then hit the Create Bucket button. Go inside your newly created bucket, then navigate to the Properties tab. Scroll down to the Static Website Hosting section, then click on Edit. Enable Static Website Hosting option, then enter index.html for our index document. Giddy up. Click on Save Changes, then navigate to the Permissions tab. Scroll down to the Bucket Policy section. Here, I'm going to copy-paste a bucket policy from this user guide that grants public read access. Make sure to replace the bucket ARN template variable with the actual ARN of our bucket. Attention! I'm also going to include slash star in the end so it covers all my objects in this bucket. Hit Save Changes, and now you should see a publicly accessible label right next to your bucket name. That's what I'm talking about. Next, let's head to the Objects tab and upload our index.html file. In this file, I just have one line which says, hello from GokcheDB, wrapped in H1 tags. Let's finish uploading this file, then navigate back to the Properties tab. Scroll down to the Static Website Hosting section, and this time, you should see a Bucket Website Endpoint URL. Click on this link to see if you see the contents of your index.html file. Looks like everything is working as expected, and our static website is indeed publicly accessible. Next, let's head to the CloudFront service, then click on Create Distribution. Copy-paste the bucket website endpoint URL in the origin domain text box. For protocol, I'm going to leave it to HTTP only, then scroll down to the Price Class section. Here, I'm going to select Use Only North America and Europe, then enter index.html in the default root object text box. Hit Create Distribution, and your last modified status should now say Deploying. Give it a few minutes, then copy the distribution domain name URL and paste it in a new browser session. This confirms that our CloudFront distribution is successfully pointing to our S3 static website. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.